What's up YouTube, I'm Mike and today I'm back with the third video in the HRT with Trend series. I've been out of town for a week, if you've been following me you already know that. So it was good to finally get back in the gym today to test uh, just exactly how well this little experiment is going. And I am very, very happy to report that it is going phenomenally. Typically at this point after coming off a cycle where we're basically at the four week, maybe five week mark, I can't really recall, I would be feeling all of the negative effects that, are, that accompany coming off of a cycle. My strength would be going in the toilet, most importantly my endurance would be going in the toilet, and there would be a general sense of kind of malaise coming on where you've gotten used to this super high level of androgens in your system for an extended period of time, and when they leave you, there are some negative effects. I made an entire video titled, what it feels like to come off Trenbolone or maybe come off a cycle. I'm, honestly, I can't remember. Uh, you look on my channel, you'll be able to see that. Talks more in depth about those effects. So what I was hoping to do with this um, sort of cruise protocol that I've been trying is to see if one, I could maintain some level of superhuman strength, the confidence, the aggression, the libido. Basically, I wanted to find out if I could maintain some of the positive effects of the trend and still allow my body to recover its biomarkers, get my blood pressure back in range and, and all of the biomarkers back into a healthy range. So the idea was that maybe if I could get some of the positive effects of using, of being on cycle while off cycle, it would make it easier for me to run longer off periods. The thing that I struggle with the most since I started cycling anabolics is I really don't take long enough periods off to let my body recover because it becomes very difficult. It's just hard. Like I just, I love being on and so I tend to push it a little too much. So I'm very happy to report that what I noticed today, even after like 10 days out of the gym, I was in Miami with my family for 10 days. We're planning on moving there. I'll save more of those details for another video. but. So we were, we spent 10 days driving around looking at homes, you know, going to the beach, stuff like that, basically no lifting. And my strength was, was really, really great tonight in the gym. I just got through hitting a, a chest workout. And one of the things that I notice, um, basically every time I come off cycle is, um, it's kind of deceiving. Like you go into the gym in your first set, like let's say you're doing bench, you know, it'll be like, okay, I still feel pretty strong, not, not quite as strong maybe as when I was blasting, but I still feel good. Then you get to that second exercise, maybe it's incline, and all of a sudden where on cycle, my incline would keep up with my flat bench, like they were both elevated well above normal. When I go into a cruise period, there's just no endurance. There's no muscular endurance at all, so I have a good first exercise, four sets, lifting pretty heavy, then I go to my next exercise and I can already tell my weights are way, way down from what I'm used to doing on cycle. By my third, fourth exercise, I'm feeling pretty, you know, I'm not feeling that superhuman energy for days that you, you know, that you become accustomed to on cycle, which of course is what you would expect. You're, you're not fucking on cycle anymore. You're back to a quasi normal state. Now, obviously I never come off because I cruise on TRT. My TRT dose, whatever you think about it, is 200 milligrams per week, which does keep me minorly supra-physiological. Supra so, what the trend has been able to produce so far, and for those of you who, who maybe for whatever reason jumping into this video first, I'm doing 200 milligrams of test E per week and 50 milligrams of trend E per week. The libido has not wavered one tiny fucking bit. My wife is currently on hormone replacement therapy herself, which has got her libido through the roof, and it's going down two, three times a day, every single day, like clockwork, which was one of the main things that I was concerned about. I like having that high libido. I like being aggressive in the bedroom. I like being able to have fun in that way, and that has absolutely remained unchanged for this four weeks um, to five weeks off cycle, well, off blast. Um, Obviously, as I just mentioned, the strength in the gym is phenomenal. My muscular endurance and cardio endurance in the gym is excellent. I'm really noticing very few differences from the way I felt in my previous blast. I do think that my biomarkers are starting to recover. I notice that I'm less out of breath, which is usually uh, a problem of me uh, letting my blood pressure to get too high. 
Obviously, I'm going to have to get some blood work that I've been talking about for, I don't know, fucking 10 weeks now. I keep putting it off, uh, which bodybuilders are want to do. I really need to get the blood work. But now that I'm in this cruise phase, I kind of want to do it. I don't want to do it too early. So I may wait another three, four weeks and kind of see where we're at as far as the blood work. Did my you know, lipids recover? What's my BP? Is the, the liver enzyme still looking good? I don't suspect that the trend elevates the liver enzymes. I really don't. I know a lot of people online say that. I have yet to see any good concrete evidence that it happens. And I certainly don't feel um, like it is occurring when I'm on these long cycles. So very happy to report that everything is going much better than I had hoped so far. The caveat to that is that I was using long esters on my cycle and being that we're only at the four to five week mark off blast, it's possible that my that the serum concentrations of Trin and maybe even Test are still a little bit higher than they're going to be once everything totally flatlines. So it's still going to be another few weeks, two, maybe three weeks to really uh, prove that this experiment is working, at least as far as being able to maintain some of the positive effects and getting rid of some of the negatives. Um, some evidence that the levels are um, back to a more reasonable range, I'm having no trouble sleeping at night, I'm having zero night sweats, the aggression has subsided, the distance that sometimes my wife reports, basically I asked my wife the other day, I said, you know, how do you feel? Do you, you know, because she's usually the first person that notices problems. She notices the side effects of the trend long before I do, and I'll be fucking arguing with her that you're crazy, it's not really happening. And so I asked her, what is your opinion? Do you think at this dose, 50 milligrams a week, that, that, that the side effects that you don't like have subsided? And she said yes, that she's not seeing really any of the things that are, that are customary with uh, a medium to high dose cycle of, of Trimbalone. So I'm hopeful, I, I'm very hopeful that that this is going to work. Uh, the reason being again to reiterate, if I'm able to recover my biomarkers, maintain some of that superhuman strength, the libido, the endurance, then it will be much more comfortable for me to extend my off periods and really let my body get a rest. The other thing that's been phenomenal is I'm maintaining a lot of the trend aesthetic. Um, I don't know if you can see that the vascularity is still really good, still very thin looking in my shoulders, my entire upper body. Now, obviously, I haven't been uh, eating a bunch. You know, I'm not in a massive surplus. I uh, missed a lot of meals probably on, on vacation, just dragging around and spending hours on the beach. And so I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm certainly not bulking at this point. So, but the, the trend aesthetic is hanging on much longer than usual and I'm seeing a lot of positive effects in the gym and in my day-to-day -day life. So, there you have it. Um, please stay tuned to this series because it's going to get much more exciting when we get to that, you know, six, seven weeks off to really conclusively prove whether or not 50 milligrams of Trimbalone is enough to get a sort of a... HRT sweet spot, sort of a cruise sweet spot where um, you really get the best of, of both worlds. So stay tuned for that. Um, follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. As I said, there's a lot going on in my life right now. Um, we are planning to move to, uh, the, to, the, South, to the South Florida area. I recently quit my job just out of the fucking blue. I just quit my job of 21 years, my career, and went on one interview in the South uh, South Miami area and was able to secure a really, really promising job. So the pieces are coming together. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of shit going on. I'm going to, I'm going to make uh, videos about this entire process. I'm trying to produce more content and not just bodybuilding content. So there's a, a number of things that you're going to see on the channel. One of the things that you should definitely stay tuned for if you care about this type of thing is I'm going to make a video probably in the next day or two about, <laughs> about what it's like to travel with and or live with a squirter. That's right. I have mentioned in one of my other videos that my wife is a squirter and that causes some interesting problems when you're trying to live in, in, in Airbnbs and fucking hotels and you don't have ready access to laundry and all that kind of shit. And so um, maybe we'll get her on the channel to talk about some of that. Uh, so there you have it. As always, uh, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it's been interesting. Hopefully it's been informative. And we'll see you on the next one.